Hello Eric, this is Dr. D. What can I help you with? You got car problems? Yeah, I was calling to get a price to get uh, new linings put on my Jake brake and uh, perhaps get uh, my muffler bearings uh, repacked and rotated uh, with the blinker fluid update kit. Wow, uh, dude, there is no such thing as that. Uh, I think a shop in jerk water might have been jerking your chain there. Hey, did you want me to check it out for you and tell you what's really wrong with the speedometer? I'm a little ways away. I'd have to drive from New York. I understand, but I hear there isn't a decent mechanic in a 2,500 mile radius of your location. Yeah. The first thing I would do is check the monitor data on the speed sensor. Then check for battery positive to the speedo. You should be able to monitor that and uh, just see where it's at. Um, you know, I'm wondering if the, if the fuel tank pressure sensor is just not changing. Well, Eric, I don't understand what that would have to do with your speedometer not working. You might just need to go to Mitchell and get on the tree chart and take it step by step and diagnose the problem. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Just go to Mitchell and print the chart. If there are words you don't understand, you can call me and I'll help you. So, hey, on a different subject, uh, how did your visit with the urologist go? Was he able to diagnose that problem you were having when you have to go? Yeah, you don't want to have like a leak and stick your hand over it, you know, to piss out of it. And, it, you know, and it thinks it's blocked. That's where the relief kicks in and then it bleeds off. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, you don't want to squeeze that. Okay, dude, I got to get back to work. Uh, I'll let you get back to manshands.com. I'm excited about that. I'll catch you later.